Hey guys, welcome back to my basement project. I am now getting ready to install the smart wall system from Drycore, and I've got a panel right here. So if you want to learn more about the panels, about smart wall and all the details involved in the panels, you can go to my other video I, I did recently uh, on my YouTube page and check out that. But right now I want to talk about the installation of the product, which is what I'm getting ready to do now. It all starts with your bottom plate and your top plate. Now, unlike your typical installation, which is you frame everything in, and then you insulate it, then you vapor barrier, then you drywall it. The great thing about the smart wall system from Drycore is that it eliminates all that work. Now you have a panel that is all encompassed. It has everything you need in it. All you need is a bottom plate and a top plate. And in my case, I'm using a middle plate as well. And that's a pressure treated two by four. Really important that these are pressure treated because you're on concrete. Concrete wicks moisture. So you wanna make sure you've got the appropriate uh, material, which is a pressure treated. So on the bottom of every panel, I have 10 foot panels. You can also get these in eight foot. So it comes in 10 or eight. I have nine foot ceilings. So obviously I went with the 10 foot, but at the bottom of every panel, they have a channel cut out for your bottom plate. That's where your bottom plate sits. And as you can see, this being the bottom plate sits right in that channel. Now every bottom has this, not the top, because you're going to cut these to fit. So they can only do it on the bottom because you're going to end up cutting the top to fit the height of your basement. So, Keeping that in mind, that's where that goes. So this is always the bottom. That's where the sticker is, that's where the channel is, that's where the bottom plate is. Now, if I make a mark on this right here, this section right here, because your bottom plate, the front of it sits right there and I make a mark, that mark is an offset of two and a half inches. So when I put my bottom plate down, I make a mark at two and a half inches from the front, that's my offset to measure from the block. That will make more sense when we get over here. Now, to install these, the easiest way to do that is what's called a ram set. This is a ram set. This is a gun, basically, that shoots a nail, two and a half inch nail, with a 22 caliber charge. Okay, so they have two different types of charges. This is a yellow tip charge, which is for solid concrete. And then they have a green box with a green tip, which is for block concrete block. So make sure you have the appropriate charge for exactly what you're doing. Okay, so I'm using a combination of a ramp set. This is a trigger operated, just like a gun. They also make these with a hammer operated. And make sure also that you use construction adhesive. So I'm using a combination of construction adhesive and the ramp set. And I'll show you how to do that right over here if you want to follow me over this way. I've already got one down, as you can see right here. This is my last bottom plate that went in. And what I've done is I marked that, inch, that two and a half inches on this bottom plate, I marked it on here. And then I used my tape measure to check off the wall, which is an inch and a half. So I use that mark to check that I'm an inch and a half off the block wall, because that's the depth of my two by four on the flat, which is here. And I'm also doing it at the top. And that gives me my inch and a half offset. So that way I'm an inch and a half off of the block wall and I'm using my two by fours on the flat on the wall. Now with me, you got to check your walls, your foundation walls, because mine are pretty plumb. They're actually really good. So I can use this system. Otherwise, you got to bring your panel out and attach your top plate to the ceiling joist. And uh, if that's the case, you can't use your block wall. If your block wall is not plumb, that, that could be an issue. But because mine is, this is the way I'm doing it. So one little tip, make sure you read all the instructions when you operate a ramp set, but one quick tip. Always load the nail first before you put the charge in. Put the nail in first, then load your charge. Now you're locked and loaded, you're ready to go. Safety glasses, and you also want to use hearing protection. I've got little earplugs. And you only need about three of these or four of these in an eight foot length because you're also using construction adhesive on the bottom. So press it down. Fire in the hole, and that's it. That's all you need. So that's the bottom plate. Now I'm going to go ahead and put the middle plate up. I've already got it cut. Construction adhesive. Now I'm going to use the green charge. A 
little cheap, little uh, cheap thing here. I've got a board that I cut that is the height of where I need my. If you're especially viewing this by yourself, you have nobody to hold it for you. This is my holder. And there you go. That just helps hold it in place. Just want to repeat this process. Just make sure if you have a bow in your 2x4 that you're up tight against the block. So it might require a couple extra, a couple extra nails. And that's it. So my top plate is in, or excuse me, my bottom plate is in, my middle plate is in, and my top plate is in. And these were all done the same way using the wrap set. Construction adhesive, so I've got my middle plate, bottom plate, top plate, I'm ready to put the panels in.